And picking up your prescription may soon become a race against the clock. CVS announcing that two thirds of its pharmacies at some 9,000 stores will adjust their hours beginning in March. And Walmart plans to start closing its pharmacies at seven instead of nine on weeknights at about 4,600 locations. The industry shift is meant to maximize efficiency, but is still unsettling to some. Amanda Poole recently made the hard choice to leave her job as a CVS pharmacist after 10 years. She says she was stretched so thin she was afraid of making a mistake. Not only are we still trying to fill everybody's, you know, heart, you know, heart medicine and blood pressure medicine and, and all those antibiotics, but we're also now trying to fill prescriptions for COVID. So multiply our workload times a million. We just have gotten to the point where it's either our job as a pharmacist, we're going to work and put up with it and deal with it and maybe potentially hurt somebody and harm a patient or we're going to step back and step away. And that's what I ended up doing. Heightening the urgency, the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts slower than average employment growth for pharmacists over the next decade as demand is only rising.